Okay, okay, okay. Get it ready. So one of the things we do is, um, with a baby blessing, we're just partnering with what God is doing in the life of the family. In this church, we believe that the greatest leaders are the parents, not the pastor. I repeat, the greatest leaders are the parents to foster the kids' faith in destiny. And I believe that when we pronounce a blessing, it activates, it empowers, and it awakens the destiny of that individual. And it actually solidifies and affirms the identity. So I've been doing blessings for some time, and what I've been asking is for the mother and the father to write a blessing, speak it over the child, and I just come in agreement. So it's all about their desire and their heart for little Grace, Ava, Aguila. God bless you guys. Here's the mic. I'm about to wait. <laughs> Felix. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for having us. Um, we really are pleased to share this special day with all of you, our journey family. We've been here just over a year and a half. It really has changed our lives. So thank you for, for everything you've done for us and that we could be here today with all of you today. Um, we've worked on this this week. I'd say it's mostly my wife and my mother-in-law, so I'm definitely going to read a lot just to make sure I don't miss anything to travel later. Um, so just starting our blessing for Grace. Grace, you are a perfect miracle from God, a blessing from the world and to us. Your name was divinely imprinted on our hearts, a reminder of God's grace, upon grace, upon grace in our lives. Thank you, Father God. We waited so long for our promise. You are our new beginning. You are fruit of our love, our hearts, our souls. May you desire to connect to God and experience His greatness. May you grow in godly wisdom and discernment and apply it to your daily life. May you grow in favor with God and man. May you have a teachable spirit and a special love for God's word. May you be kind, humble, and empathetic. Uh, obviously, our grandparents would have loved to be here today, so that's in a few scriptures for me to read out today. So the first one would be Psalm 67, verse 1. May God cause his face to shine upon you. Come on. Uh, Isaiah 11, verse 2. May the spirit of the Lord rest upon you, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And then Psalm 23, verse 6. May goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. And then we just have a small prayer just to finish it off on our end. That's fine. So, may the Lord make you a righteous woman of God, just like the matriarchs of the Bible, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord show you favor and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you kindness and grant you peace. Man. <laughs> uh, you want to say something, Lynn? You want to say something? No? Okay. She, she's the crier and I'm the crier too. So, so Gracie, I'm going to just anoint you with something wonderful. It's anointing oil. And um, it's going to pronounce a blessing over you and come in agreement with everything your papa and mama and grandparents said. Okay, Gracie? Yeah. So in the name of the Father ooh, Oi. Oi. and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father, we just thank you for grace. Yeah. Just put your hand and just pick a blessing. We just thank you for grace, Father God, and all she represents, Lord. We thank you that she is the beginning and not the end. And in Jesus' name, she's going to flourish and this family is going to flourish because of the destiny upon this young lady. We thank you for the great responsibility you have put on, on Ricky and Lynn and their parents, Father God, and the, and the matriarchs and patriarchs of the family to steward the faith and the legacy that is deposited in, hope, um, in grace right now and the hope that is in there, Father God, to come to pass fully. Lord, we thank you for the seed of righteousness already planted. We thank you for the renewing of mind that's already there. Father, we thank you for friendships. We thank you for um, support. We thank you for everything according to your perfect pleasure that Ricky and Lynn will need right now, Father God, to groom this young woman into everything you've called them to be. We release the grace over grace, Father God, to do everything that you called her to do, Father God, and we activate it by faith. Holy Spirit and every angel assigned to her, Father God, watch over her coming and her going. Go before her, Father God, in the city Father God in the field and we thank you right now for all that you're doing in and through grace in this family right now and we stand Father God firm on this foundation that he who began the good work in this family shall bring it to completion and we thank you for doing that right now we thank you for Ricky and, and Lynn to be your trusted servants right now to awaken the destiny and see forth the legacy that is brought forth in little grace and Father right now in the name of Jesus we thank you for the harvest for her life we thank you from start to finish, Father God, that people will know her name and know the God she served. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys.
God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Oh, you look so nice, Ricky. Uh,